executives ride alone. Stuck again. Boy, well, that's really something, huh? Right. Hard to believe old Roger Martinson killed a fellow right up there in his office. So how do you feel about that? Oh, it's, it's terrible. It's hard on everyone. Roger, his family. Well, what about you? Me? Well, you're the one that called the cop, blew the whistle, ran it on him. <laughs> Mr. Martinson, what are you doing here? I thought you were still in the slammer. I'm out on bail, but I am still behind bars, the bars of my own brutal behavior. Boy, this is really something. The two of you in the same elevator, the killer and the caller. <laughs> Roger, I'm sorry. I know how you must feel. Ben, listen to me. You did the right thing. I broke the Tenth Commandment. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. That one, too. No, I mean kill. But no more. I've got to make up not only for the life I've taken, but for the life I've led. A life of excess, sin, greed. Now I'm on the right path. Bill. Yes, my son. Uh, sir. I've got to rid myself of the trappings of this material life. For you. Uh, Roger, don't you think that's a little extravagant? A $10,000 watch? Now it means nothing. Sir, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Bill. Just be a good elevator operator. Yes, sir. I forgive you, Benjamin. Have a nice day, Mr. Christian. How? Empire might be buying Amelia's company. Nice work. Nice work indeed. Thank you, sir. As lovely as ever, Amelia. Or may I call you Puffy? It's Buffy, darling. <laughs> Jack, this is Elliot Claven, Amelia's lawyer. Oh, sir, Mr. Claven needs no introduction. This is a rare privilege. I never miss your television show. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> well, thank you. But it was cancelled. Television won't deal with real issues, controversy. Oh, no, and it was such a great show. The innocent getting prizes, the guilty falling into that water tank. Did you ever see the show, Mr. Carmel? One. Oh, Jack, I can't thank you enough. You keep your eye on him, Calvin. Why, he might be your next superstar. Buffy, 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 I appreciate the praise, but superstar? I don't think so. I don't either. <laughs> But no one could have put it more charmingly. Oh, why, thank you, Calvin. It's a wonderful feeling to be embraced by the arms of empire. May I embrace love forever. Uh, Jack, could you show Amelia around the rest of our little shop? You sure you don't want me to sit in on these talks? After all, negotiations are my longsuit. Just show her around. <laughs> yes, sir. Excuse her. Bye-bye, Calvin. Elliot, before we start these bloodletting ceremonies, I'd like to talk to you about Roger Martinson. I can't believe Roger killed anyone. Believe it. He did. <laughs> but I'm not happy with his defense attorney. Who would you recommend? Uh, let me see. I want the best. If money were no object, who would you... Me. 
<laughs> but that would be wonderful. But you're so busy. This is going to be a tough case. But that's how I built my reputation. I don't care if Roger shot him in the back. That's precisely where he did shoot him. <laughs> really? I wish you'd stop coming in through my bathroom. I'm afraid to go in there. It's my building. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Beth, tell me what you know about Amelia Lapidus, her company. Well, uh, I know a little bit about her company. I'd like to know more about her. She's a very attractive woman. Is she? Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> ben, I want you to look into her dress. <laughs> her company. Everything. Banking relations. A plant in Africa? Oh, sir, uh, that's Jack's baby. That would be like going behind his back. Well, not like going behind his back. It is going behind his back. I've got everyone going behind everyone's back all the time. <laughs> Suspicion increases efficiency. <laughs> Don't you think that sort of thing is demoralizing? No. <laughs> is he in? All right, I'll hold. I did it. I finally found those golf ball couplings you always wanted. I must have been to ten stores. These aren't the ones. Uh, what about dinner? With Fifi, nine o'clock. Did you get a power table? Oh, all the window tables were booked. Cancel it. I only eat at power tables. Yes. Hello, Jeff. Goodbye, Jeff. I hold for no man this long. Jeff. Yeah. I've never seen you like this. You're so different. Oh, I know you're going to the top this time. And you did it all by yourself. I know. How about I'm very busy? <laughs> go on, go on. Shoo, shoo, shoo. And don't have a headache when I get home tonight. Last we'll two hours before dinner. Jack, you are different. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hiya, Jackie. Is uh, Jack busy? Incredibly busy. I wouldn't bother him. Ben, you son of a gun. Get on in here. Go on, Button. Go, go, go. Go, go. Guess you heard we're buying Lapita Industries. Old Jack pulled it off, didn't he? Huh? Huh? Sit down. Yeah, Jack, you sure did. But it was. You know, all the sleepless nights and days, the crazy anxieties, the silly insecurities, they're all behind me now. I can finally fill my lungs with this. Sweet smell of success. The company's got some problems, Jack. <laughs> Jeffrey! Why are you doing this to me? I finally broke through with Cromwell. But the Lapidus factory is in Africa. Cambia is a new country. It doesn't appear to be all that stable. It is stable. The king's a good man. Durable. He stood the test of time. He was a corporal in the army nine months ago. But the people love him. They're crazy about him. They blew up his car last week. It was his wife's car! <laughs> You're going to tell Cromwell on me, aren't you? Jack, I'm not telling anyone. I'm trying to help you. I don't need your help. The Lapidus deal is solid. You're just jealous, that's all. He can please the media. Cromwell wants to steal. You better wrap it up fast. If they ever found out what was going on in there... Believe me, it's a $10,000 watch. I can let you have it for $800. Think about it. I'll call you later. Morning. So, from now on, I'm going to walk to work or take the bus. I don't deserve a Mercedes anymore. Here. Oh, thank you. Take it, take it. Oh, Martin, this is so generous of you. My Earl will just flop. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's get to the point. I've been talking with Ben Christian about the Lapidus factory in Africa. All right, let's get it out in the open. Cambia is an unstable country. The king's an illiterate corporal. There's a strong guerrilla movement. The government won't last six weeks. It was. We all know that dirty work Ben Christian's been up to, so let's just clear the air. Jack, I didn't say anything to Mr. Cromwell. No one knows yet. They don't? They do now. <laughs> is this true? Christian, what have you learned? Well, sir, what Jack has courageously revealed by torpedoing his own position is a possibility. Ben tricked me. Let's look at the facts. The factory in Cambio offers us cheap resources, cheap hydroelectric power, and best of all, cheap labor, just the way you like it, sir. See, Howard, you've been there. What's your assessment of the country? A uh, brutal dictator, no judicial system, complete censorship, and no human rights. 
Personally, I like the place. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I was looking at my globe the other day, and this Cambia seems to be near a real hot spot. Persia. <laughs> Exactly how old is this globe of yours? <laughs> Sir, the only sensible thing to do is to send one of our own people over there for the first hand inspection of the plant and country. Excellent idea. Mr. Rowland, is your passport in order? I can get you one in an hour. What country do you want? <laughs> Jack started this whole thing. I think he should be the one to go. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Willow deserves it. Willow's going. You're kidding. That's what I was about to say. Ben, thanks again. Really, thanks. I can't thank you enough. You have thanked thank you. Enough. Thank you. Well, that was a good meeting, a very good meeting. I don't think the Persian thing's going to hurt me. Evan, <laughs> this thing is headache enough, but if this Cambia deal comes off, Willow could be going places here. Maybe we underestimated him. Impossible. <laughs> He could be making his move. Uh-huh. For every move, there's a counter move. Now, Willow's going to deep, dark Africa, right? No voodoo, dear. Yeah, not this time. I think I have something better. Or should I say, someone better? No, oh, not him again. <laughs> Maybe you should use voodoo. No, no, I think my old friend Borkstad will be better than voodoo. <laughs> Now, Roger, I've talked with the judge, and he answered. I understand that you gave your antique rocker to Mary Louise. I could have used that, Mr. Martinson. I'm sorry, Renee. I could bring you one from home. Can I have your leather chair? You mind? I'm sitting in it. Will you tag it for me? <sighs> Roger, we don't have much time to prepare for this trial. We couldn't get a delay. Good, good. I've got blood on my hands, Elliot. Justice must be swift. Now, if everything goes right, I should be in the chair before Christmas. I'm going to save you in spite of yourself. I'm pulling out all the stuff, and I'm going to need your help. I'm lining up character witnesses. I want his family around as much as possible. I want a positive media image. With luck. You want to see me, Elliot? Oh, yes, Arthur. I'm looking for character witnesses, Roger. Oh, that's a very good idea. What do you want me to lie about? <laughs> to think of something positive that will put Roger in a good light. Oh, that's going to be tricky. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Last year, Roger and I were driving someplace. Uh, it was getting dark, and we saw a school bus broken down by the side of the road. The children were upset. More than upset. They were crying. They needed help. Roger jumped out of his car. He took charge. He quieted their fears. Their troubles were over. No, they weren't. Roger drove right by them. He what? We were late for a cocktail party. Then why are you telling me all this? Because Roger felt very bad about those children. He must have talked about it for at least a half a mile, and that's the God's honest truth. Oh, thanks, Sir Elliot. I am finished. Boy, I wish your TV show was still on. Guilty as charged and right in the water tank. <laughs> yes, you ready? Right. Let's get started. Okay, uh, now when you get to Cambia, the first thing you do is you check in at the American Express. Are you all right? Fine, fine. Okay, where were we? I get off the plane, I go straight to the Pony Express office. Oh, Jesus. Yes. No, uh, I mean this. Yes. yes, I don't. Yes, you do. Oh, it's probably just a tiny reaction to those shots I got for the trip. What shots did you get? Oh, cholera, blackwater fever, dengue fever, malaria, smallpox, mumps. What lunatic told you to get all those shots? He Howard. He even brought his own doctor up here and everything. He was so sweet. Are you sure he was a real doctor? Oh, yes. He Howard told me all about Dr. Brookstock. He, he lived in Argentina. Before that, he lived in uh, Germany. Kind of a nice old guy. Why am I thirsty? <laughs> Keep drinking and drinking. It doesn't seem to help. Jack, yeah. you better lie down. I'm going to call my own doctor. I really think you're overreacting to the whole thing, but... Well, sure, I appreciate that. I know you care about me. Wait till you see this. Oh, hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi, Jackie. Won't this be great for the trip? Like Catherine Hepburn and the African Queen. Hi, Jackie. What's wrong with you? 
I don't feel so well. We are going to Africa. You are not going to weasel out of this trip. No, Jessica, it's the shots. I have a temperature of 105. Oh, poor darling. Why didn't you think so? This is terrible. What can I do? Keep it a secret. From Cromwell, from everyone. I've worked too hard on this deal. I'm not going to let anything stop me. Are you sure you'll be all right? Yes. Great. Look at these safari outfits I bought for us. Aren't they adorable? We're going, Jackie. <laughs> what happened to my mouth? Frankly, I did have some questions about Cambia, but I guess the trip you're taking with Jack should answer them. Well, I did hear you had some reservations about my company, but we are all very proud of Lapidus Industries, and we want you to be, too. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Well, I believe in the personal approach. We can even have one teeny weeny question for me. Well, Mrs. Lapidus, I mean, I come on, Mr. Christine. Ben. Oh, Ben. There were a few things I wouldn't mind discussing. Oh, good. Unfortunately, I have a luncheon date. But I do want to hear everything you have to say. Perhaps you could meet later for drinks. Oh, that'd be nice. What about dinner? Oh, well, that would even be nicer. <laughs> oh, I'll just send my car over around nine. Oh, no, 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 no. I will pick you up at nine. Oh, thank you. Oh, I like that in a man. Whoa. I don't even know where she lives. Right? Uh, Peg, stop, Mrs. Lapidus. Get her address. It's important. has been troubling me for some weeks now. Yes, yes sir. This isn't easy for me. Ben, tell me... Tell me about dating. <laughs> dating? I haven't dated for... 30 years. Since Vera left me, I've been alone. Now, you're young. You're single. You know about these things. I've met someone very special. Should I sing candy? Solid? Is that old fashioned? A little bit corny? No, no, no. Um, mm -hmm. Sir, what I try to do is send something personal. Yes, yes. Just, just like me. <laughs> Got to think of something personal. I don't want to overwhelm her. Something touching. Yes, sir. It's, it's the thought that counts. I'll give her a cabin cruiser. <laughs> you give her a what? It's wrong, isn't it? That's too much, isn't it? No, no, no. It's a statement. You're not like me at all, Christian. I mean, your fancies, cabin cruisers. Who? Fancy cabin cruisers? Oh. <laughs> I've let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Amelia Lapidus. <laughs> well, then, what do you think? Good. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you. No, I'm glad you told me. I, I think it's good that you told me. <laughs> That's her address. Not now, Peg. She said that the door is... Not now, Peg. Well, she said that you... Not can't... now. <laughs> Willow's taking that meeting with Cromwell. I should be taking that meeting. I should be going on this trip. Of course you should. I don't understand it. Dr. Brookstadt gave Willow enough shots to drop a buffalo. He is a buffalo. <laughs> you and that quack in Lederhosen. Let Brookstadt go back to his experiments. Trying to cross an apricot with a bulldog. <laughs> it almost worked. The man's a genius. Everett, I tell you, those shots are going to put Willow out of action. But when? Jack. Please let me take this meeting alone. You're in no shape for it. No, Ben, I'm going on this trip. I'm climbing up that corporate ladder. Okay, then drink plenty of liquid. 
Plenty. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. I have to go to the bathroom again. So go. I can't. Ben, I don't know how to tell you this. You already went? <laughs> no. I'm blind. <laughs> what? Sorry I'm late, gentlemen. Where is he? He's at the door. Moving toward his desk. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Where is she? Two o'clock high. Hi, Stuffy. Kelvin, do you mind if I make myself a little bit of tonic water? Amelia, let me help you. Stay. Don't leave me. Let's go. See you in a minute, Jack. Still at your desk, eh, sir? <laughs> yes. Allow me. We're going to have to forget about tonight. It's off. But I was looking forward to it. Why, Ben? What are you two whispering about? That's why. But Ben... Don't touch me. Don't even come here. Jack? Yes, sir. Let's get these travel vouchers signed. No problem. <laughs> we are a lot of problems here, sir. No. Are you all right, Willow? You look terrible. Oh, contrary, sir. Never felt better in my home. <laughs> yeah, you must be reacting to the shot. I'm fine. Oh. I'm fine, Mom. Oh, he's burning up with real salt. Call a doctor. See if Jack is still here. Honey. I'm okay, Ma. Honey, I can still go to summer camp. Don't mean to ruin and everything. I mean, I adore Jack Calvin, but, well, my boat is meeting next week, and the trip can't be delayed any longer. You're absolutely right. I love you. Ben, you're up on this. You'll take the trip with Amelia. What? My trip! I'm going! That's a Jack trip! <laughs> Dear Calvin, my Ben and I get along very well, and I just know I'd be in very good hands. But I don't have shots or anything. He, Howard, has a doctor. No! <laughs> ben is not going on my trip. I'm all right. I can see. I can see. I didn't know you couldn't. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, no. Isn't it awful, Jackie? Why, well, he's just too sick to go on the trip, honey. You can't see this to me. I just spent $3,000 on luggage. Get up, Jack. Get up on your feet. I am on my feet. You said you wouldn't get sick, you promise. Jack, you're going to be all right. You've got to go on the trip. You fool my trip, then. You plan the whole thing. I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Time for afternoon prayer next week on Empire. These pictures are incredibly damaging and beautifully composed. Young boys do not interest me. No, me. I'm going to get them, Christian. You mark my words. Do I have to finish everything you start? Tonight, a computer foul-up puts a trip to heaven on hold. Don't miss Back Together, a comedy special, later tonight.